Hey everybody, so if you've been watching some of my previous videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of Bubble.io no-code technology. However, there are a lot of cases where you'd wanna build something on open source technology and still do it no-code or low-code, in which case, you're probably not gonna to wanna to use Bubble.io because Bubble.io is not an open source platform. It has a lot of advantages, but it is not an open source platform. So in this video, I'm be showing you how you can use different platforms, and these are the top 10 ones, to enable and use open source technology for your company without having to use a closed source platform like Bubble.io. Let's jump into it. So my first recommendation is a company called Bootybase, B-U-D-I-B-A-S-E, Buddybase, however you pronounce it. You save hundreds of hours building apps that make workflow, that's their whole pitch, and essentially it is another no-code platform. They have 19,000 GitHub stars and is trusted by over 100,000 teams. Now I do like it because they do allow you to actually have self-hosting and include Kubernetes and Docker. It's also great if you wanna to connect to external databases and use different APIs. One really cool thing is you can actually create screens automatically and tables inside development, which if you've used tools like bubble.io, you know that creating tables can be complex and time consuming. So having them be created automatically is a pretty good time saving process. One challenge to the platform though, is it does require a little bit more development skill than let's say bubble.io or any of these other no code platforms. But if you wanna get started using it, you can go to their pricing page and sign up for free without having to pay anything and you get access to unlimited apps and workflows. Um, they do give you premium features or enterprise features if that sounds like you, which you can also use and have no user limit, although there is cost associated with, with each user that you add. My next recommendation is a company called Convertigo, which is really catered more towards enterprise digitalization, which if you're watching this, one of the advantages if you're at a larger company or plan to be working with larger companies is that it could be run completely enterprise without having to use a different third-party application that is closed source. So for example, if you build something on bubble.io, you may not have as much control over it as if you were to build something with a open source platform. The thing about Convertigo is that it's really good for things in the banking or finance spaces, which tend to have a lot more compliance constraints, and that could be very useful if you're trying to build more complex apps with compliance concerns. One thing also that Convertigo does, which Bubble.io does not currently do, is have on-premise solutions. And if you're familiar with how software worked back in the day, that was a really popular option, and it's still very popular for big teams nowadays, is to have on-prem software that you can run on your local servers. If you want to get started using Convertigo, you can just go to their pricing page and you can sign up. You know, the biggest thing with most of these apps that are open source is the cost is extremely low. You're not working with a platform that's on top of a no code platform like Bubble.io. So in that situation, you know, it is pretty cheap. So as you can see here, it's $180 per month because you have to have a minimum of 10 users per month in euros. So, I mean, in general, is it that expensive? No. I mean, at scale, maybe it might add up, but at the beginning, it's not that expensive. Because remember, these are users that are using the application and building on the application. They're not people who are your end user, right? So if you have a thousand end users, you're not gonna be charged $24 or 24 euros per end user. It's actually per person working on the platform. Now, my next recommendation is a company called Base Row, which is actually coming out as a pretty strong recommendation for open source technology. If you've used a company like Airtable before, it can be useful, but it can also be very expensive because it really adds up when you start adding a bunch of users to your organization. Now, as somebody who has used Airtable for a while, I can definitely tell you that using a tool like Base Row, if you want extra flexibility, creativity, extensions, et cetera, could be very useful. I mean, you get a lot of the same functionality as something like Airtable without having to pay exorbitant prices. One way that I'm seeing a lot of people use Base Row right now is for building educational tools or app management tools, project management tools. You know, basic things like that, you know, for managing projects can be a great application of Base Row. One thing I would really think through though before using something like Base Row is how big you want this application to be, how extensive you want the database to be. This is extremely important. And if you need a lot of scalability, I wouldn't use something like Base Row. If you wanna get started using something like Base Row, you can just go to their pricing page and sign up for free. You get free use of it, but you don't get as many rows per workspace. Um, you do get up to 3000 rows per workspace and two gigabytes per workspace on their free version if you wanna just get started. But again, one thing a lot of these softwares are doing that are open source is having your own on-premise instance of 
you know, the self-hosted version of the software, uh, which you can do on your own if you don't want to use the hosted version of base row, which at the end of the day is very similar to something like bubble.io. My next recommendation is a company called NoCoBase, which bills itself as a private no-code platform. So they say that instead of investing years of time and millions of dollars in research and deployment, you can just deploy NoCoBase in a few minutes and you'll have a private, controllable, and extremely scalable no-code development platform. Now here's the thing about no-code right now is that there's just thousands of these different no-code application builders popping up. No code base is trying to make its thing being very, very simple. Now, if you think about Squarespace, Squarespace is a very simple website development platform. So no code base is trying to be the Squarespace of no code applications built open source, right? So very simple. You can build all your blocks, your tables, your components very easily without having a lot of a development experience and b not having to put a lot of time into getting something built. Again, this is why I'm mainly making these videos because I want you to see the different platforms in a variety of situations. If you need something more complex, you may not want to use a tool like NoCodeBase, which really is trying to bank on simplicity. There's always trade-offs with these platforms. You just got to know which one each comes with and how to get around them. My next recommendation is a company called Stackstorm, which claims to connect all your apps, services, and workflows. You can see it's used by some large enterprise companies. It's free, it's open source, and it's got a robust automation engine. I really like this workflow they have here, which shows the triggers, the rules, the workflows, the actions, and all the results that can happen through their DevOps environment. And again, it is completely 100% free because it is open source. They do not have a SaaS layer. It's part of the Linux foundation in terms of projects. You can donate if you'd like, if you want to donate. But again, the idea is that it is completely fully open source. Now, the way I'm looking at Stackstorm, it's, just the, it's the perfect no code open source tool that somebody who has a traditional development background can start using because it's looking at everything from what's called development operations. So DevOps is a very popular term and philosophy or practice inside development, especially with big teams. It uses a lot of those same practices within the actual no code environment of this op open source application. So if you're coming from that background, you might like using a tool like Stackstorm right away. One thing it's also really well known for is handling security operations. If you're dealing with a big website or a big application you're trying to build or something that needs to be very secure, you can use something like Stackstorm to create those advanced security parameters. My next recommendation is a company called Base Tool. And like I've been saying, as with all of these companies, each one is trying to find its own unique portion of the market. Base Tool is trying to own all data management. So when you're dealing with complex databases, Base Tool is claiming to be the go-to space for it. Now, they are sunsetting it, so you do want to get it you know, while you can, but eventually it will not be available. Now, the benefit of this is if you want to have a more simplified database management infrastructure, let's say you're using something currently like Firebase or some other kind of database management tool and you want to make it simpler, you could use something like Base Tool to make that process simpler. Now, again, again, because they're shutting down, you're only going to have a limited time frame to use this, but it has been extremely useful so far for the people I've seen use it. So you might as well start using it for a few months if you are managing complex databases and it's not so complex, you need to keep it fully traditional custom code, but you want to have something a little bit more simple to start using. Now, my next recommendation is a really cool company. I'm very excited about this one called Rowy.io, and they're claiming to be a low code backend. Now, one thing I will say for a lot of these no code platforms is a lot of people have complained about the database infrastructure for these low code platforms. So I am excited for a company like Rowy to work specifically with tools like Firebase in order to make database backend uh, infrastructure for low code a lot easier. Because even if you're using a tool like bubble.io, which I've talked about many times on this channel, you can actually connect to a custom backend database to make everything easier when building applications. So you could use bubble.io and a tool like rowy.io uh, synergistically. And I've got to hand it to them. I love this little, this little infographic they have here, this little uh, motion sequence where it has your database, your backend code, boom, it has this cool little logo. So I've got to give it to them, that's pretty sick. But I mean, just look how cool this is. I love the design of this, it's awesome. You have 30 field types you could choose from to make managing your database a lot easier. You have this easy customizable interface that can directly integrate with your code. So if you're working with custom code, you can immediately integrate with this. 
And if you go to the pricing page on their website, it's pretty affordable considering uh, what they're giving. Uh, I know they're just starting off and you also get a one month free trial. So if you wanna go there, sign up, you get a month for free per seat, $12 per month. One of the coolest things about Roby.io is it feels like the most natural integration to your current tech stack if you are actually a software developer looking to save time with low code. Because again, if you're a software developer and you have a lot of years of experience, hearing about low code, no code tools might seem like a waste of time. So a lot of companies have thought of ways to make it easier to integrate with your current tech stack. Roby.io is one of them. Now I'm super excited about this company. It's called gdevelop.io, uh, mainly because I do play a lot of video games and I'm really interested in video game development and trends in video game development. And what GDevelop does is it's a free and open source, easy game engine. So you can create video games easily without the need to spend hundreds of thousands of hours building complex video games. Now, again, these games are what are called hyper casual or indie games. These are very laid back, easy games to build right now. They're not really trying to build, you know, for example, the next Battlefield or the next Starfield. I mean, these are pretty simple games, but you can imagine that with the development of AI and all these different tools, and interfaces that could go into this over the years, it could get really, really exciting what you could do with a platform like this. So I know a lot of people watching this probably aren't developing video games, but hey, maybe you can find a way to make a video game incorporate with your cool business or business software and, and delight your customers more. You never know. Everyone's always talking about gamification. This could be a great way to gamify things. Now, my next recommendation is a company called PocketBase, which is claiming to be an open source backend for your next SaaS and mobile app in one file. As you can see here, you get the real-time database, authentication, file storage, and admin dashboard all in one place. I really wanted to include this in here because I really liked what PocketBase is able to do around self-authentication and hosting. Obviously, there is a limitation to what it's doing because you have to have your own self-hosting, but I think that any no-code or low-code application or open source platform that's dealing with authentication issues is a big deal, and I do see a lot of of opportunity in a company like this because authentication is something that can be a bit annoying in a platform like bubble.io where you have to have sometimes complex you know workarounds for certain authentication issues and it can be a little bit of a hassle and so platforms like pocketbase can make that a lot easier for developers all right so if you're ready this is my last recommendation for the best open source no code low code platforms in 2024 are you ready my final recommendation is a company called Directus, which claims to go from database to application in 90 seconds. What's really cool is it basically is a headless CMS that can connect any SQL database into a no-code platform very quickly. Now, for those that are not necessarily full stack developers for the last 10 years, the simplest way to explain it, I think, is how this uh, founder here, Wayne, explains it on their website, which is that Directus sits on top of your database without altering any of the data. So if we had to introduce or combine new data, for example, our client's accounting database, we can simply add it to Directus and it's there for us to access, browse, and navigate. I think tools like Directus will do what I really see as the biggest trend in development and low-code, no-code work in 2024, which is make it way more accessible for people who are traditional software developers to start using no-code, low-code tools. Remember, this is just something that's sitting on top of your SQL database and you don't need to do anything. It just starts generating everything for people to use and have that easy to use interface with the database at a moment's notice without having to go create boilerplate backend code, right? Which is gonna save people time. Companies like Directus are trying to find ways for developers to not have to do all the boring mundane stuff and focus on the cool things that comes with software development. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm making more content just like this all year long and beyond. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it below and I will do my best to answer them. I'm gonna be making more content also on tech news, stories, and all things business tech related. I just love tech, tech geek. I'm gonna be really, really pumping out a lot of content for you this year. So if you think somebody would enjoy this video, feel free to share it with them. And uh, until next time, thank you.